Well, we're trimming the palms again today. That mass right there is a bunch of fruit, and this is one that's on the ground. Probably weighs 60, 70 pounds. This fern, well, these sticks, were full of leaves yesterday. And the ants, look at this. Leaf cutter ants got that last night. Every one of those sticks was a big beautiful fern. I know I made a video about trimming the palms a year ago, but we have to do it oh, every three months or so, maybe three or four times a year. Got four guys working on it today, a couple here in the front and three more in the back. Well, front back, you know, it's always, we never know if the front of the house is what you come to or the front of the house faces the lake. These guys are real acrobats. I think they're strapping two 20-foot ladders together to get to those tallest ones out in the front. Here comes one of those fruits down. If we don't get those fruits out, they make a really huge, big mess. And those right over the, the, by the front door there, there's five of those big fruits in that tree. And they've been making a huge, big mess right there in front of the door. If you leave them in the tree, they turn into orange things about the size of an apricot. And you could eat them, but You'd have to go and floss afterwards because they have so many, so much stringy stuff on them. You know, if anybody ever tells you Mexicans are lazy, tell them they don't know what they're talking about. So we're going to get a pile there, about two pickup loads to be hauled away, and um, that, like I said, happens three, four times a year. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Today we're at a nursery. In Spanish that's Bebero. We're getting some color spots, Lynn calls them. I turned the volume down on this because the traffic noise was really bad. So I'm just doing a voiceover as I walk around in the nursery today to see all of the different plants that are available here in Mexico. We have three planting seasons a year for vegetable gardens. When Lynn and I were first down here, we got real excited about doing a garden again that we hadn't done for years or had time to do for years. Um, you know, raising kids and making a living just takes up a lot of time, even though we were in Oregon. And you could have a, a good growing season in the summer. We just ran out of time to do that for many years. But here, when we first came down, we did three gardens a year, three plantings a year, and grew green beans and onions and beets and uh, radishes, green onions. One thing we never could grow was tomatoes. There's some organism in the soil here that makes the tomatoes come out really screwy. They get all deformed. And, although across the lake, um, they grow Roma tomatoes, and of course, right here in the store, you can buy the big bowl of tomatoes. So I don't know what they're using over there in the commercial tomato grower growing fields, but we've tried everything. I even went one time, I made a bet with Lynn. Um, who could grow the best tomato, and I went and I bought 
uh, potting soil and grew them in a pot. I don't know what happened, they still came out funky. Anyway, can't grow tomatoes here, at least we can't. Oh, you should be really glad that this is not, wait for it, wait for it, it's coming. Glad this is not smell-o-vision. That there would be what they call organic fertilizer. It's uh, produced by a horse, in case you didn't recognize it. Isn't that pretty? Oh, the other thing uh, that made me turn the sound down here, somewhere over that brick wall there was a dog barking and barking and barking. Mexico has a lot of barking dogs. You know, people always ask me, well, are there things about Mexico you don't like? Mexico is a very noisy place. If you are in a restaurant or um, anywhere in town, it's just noisy all the time. Hopefully, it all dies down at night, but that's not necessarily the case either. We have uh, a lot of festivals. There's always something going on. And huge big fireworks. The church sells things called cohetes. They're big, they're rockets that go up and make a huge, really huge big bang up in the sky. And um, oh, they got all kinds of theories about that. Like uh, the church sells them so that you can shoot them off at five o'clock in the morning to wake up the dead souls to make sure they come to church. Oh, I turned the sound down on there. Actually, you could have heard me having a little Spanish conversation with the guy. We were talking about the fact that there were mucho colores in the Bebero, and also that the temperature the day of the day was mucho calor, calor and calores. I hope you're enjoying this walk around here. Um, I've got my iPhone 6 on a gimbal and there's, ooh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I've got my iPhone 6 on a gimbal, and um, it's a smooth 4 gimbal. And I'm pretty happy with the way that um, it keeps you from getting a bouncy bounce when I'm walking, but you still get that little waver in there. Waver in there. I don't know, maybe that's just how gimbals work. We used to call that the, uh, the um, toothpaste plant because it smells like toothpaste. That screening up there, you can get it in different um, amounts of sunlight that it lets through. Like the, It's like a percentage. You get 40% or 60% of the amount of light that it lets through. That's a fern doing its thing there. You can buy potting soil, that's what those white bags are there. Costs about uh, $2.50 a bag. And there's Miss Lynn. She must be done shopping for her color spots and is sitting there waiting for me to get done walking around in here. Waiting for you and me to get done walking around in here. There's a pretty one. Did you find some plants? Yes, I did. They're together up here. Oh, okay. And they're totaling them up for me. Alrighty. I'm going to need a new hose for the backyard. Okay. Backyard.
Okay. That one's pretty much dead. You'll get I know it. you don't buy it here, but it made me think of it. Look at those hanging down. Yeah, I've got pictures of lots of them. Yeah, I have them at home. Puerto Costa! Hey. Come on, smile! <laughs> Sonrisa! <laughs> <laughs> Este serían 177. 